Okay, it's cold here. If you hear a little drone in the back of this, a little uh, heater, blowing heater, whatever it is. Uh, well, as you may or may not know, uh, Cornell West uh, did a little speech and he mentioned the Yvette Cornell and basically the ADUS uh, reality, I call it. And uh, so it was posted, and so I wrote something. Because, well, I wrote something. It said something like this. Let me read the whole thing. Uh, the Reverend Dr. West is the kind of serious celebrity ADOS embraces in this battle. Welcome to the celebrity contingent, talking about Dr. West. Uh, he entered correctly with accurate information and added to the verbal discourse. Hopefully others of note will take notes on how it is done. All right? I got 21 likes and two replies. One of the replies uh, read, uh, uh, what Dr. West is uh, is, I guess, sorry, doing. I guess you want to say what Dr. West is do is what Dr. West is is doing is good. Anyone knows that the oppression of our brothers and sisters in America is unique. ADOS is not about that. It's about attacking black immigrants. Period. It says read more, but there's nothing more to read. Uh, somebody else wrote somebody else wrote something, but I replied to that since they replied to me. I replied to that. What's the matter with this phone? Oh, here. here. I replied. I read the whole thing here. It's pretty. Oh, come on, get out of here. I replied. It's little phones. Uh, they call themselves. I'll just mention the name Black Nile. Black Nile. Uh, you know, the Nile is in Africa, so I guess they're African. Kindly do not mix up the progenitors of the ADOS reality, then I put in, uh, in uh, brackets, Miss Yvette and attorney, and attorney Moore, with uninformed and possible virtual agent provocateurs. There is no anti-anything or anybody on the official website www.ados101.com. But the real question is uh, to the non-ADO, but the real but the real question to the non-DOS uh, ADOS folk is now that ADOS has opened up this liberation front why are the non-ADOS troops not running back to their respective land masses to challenge their immediate oppressors as well as their former colonial masters why are these cowardly folks attacking a movement that is less than three years old if these folks can and have historically followed ADOS culturally, creatively, politically, dot, 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 why can they not follow our struggle lead now? The non-ADOS non folks who came to these shores before 1965 followed our liberation lead. Why can't this current crop do the same? Why are and have been, oh, I'm sorry, we are and have been in the belly of this beat. You read that. What am I saying? We are and have been in the belly of this beast. What? What? Do you really think you can rodeo ride the beast and ADOS to some kind of victory for your capitalistic dreams? If you do not want to be a functioning ally, stay away from the fray. Do what you always do. Hide under... Sorry, I messed it up here. Do what you always do. Hide until we are victorious. Then crawl out and attempt to pimp our ultimate liberation. But remember, this is uh, but another phase in our, and obviously not your, ongoing struggle. It is going to take decades. Remember, we don't cut and run. We are true warriors. Look. some lychee juice here. No. In Haiti right now, there are folks in the streets, you know, folks on the ground. If you, but you're not in Haiti, so you wouldn't know. Unless you're, you know, whatever. They're fighting against the 1%. Yes, they are. In, before I get to Africa, let me just say this. When I was in uh, Dakar, when I was in Senegal, 
when I first came out, I was in synagogue, I was hanging out. And but at that time, this was in the uh, in the nineties. So they had uh, uh, they had a, another very good leader. And I asked some guy, I said, well, you know, this is a, this is a bad leader. You know, what you gonna do? He said, well, you know, he's a big guy. You know, blah blah. What can we do? You know, you know how we talk when we're down on the ground. But well, that's not how we all talk. That's not how we talk. And then lo and behold, a few years later, they got rid of that leader. A younger guy came in. What's the first thing he did? He said, he said, all you know, all you Senegalese, come on back. You know, we gotta run, we gotta build the country. Come on back, come on back, come on back. Well, you know, they're still here, but that's not the point. In fact, you got people, you know, in Hollywood talk about, you know, I'm Senegalese, I'm I'm taking a Senegalese guy husband and bring him here. Instead of going back and create your own Hollywood, you know, you're so good on, on the thing. Go to go go to Senegal and create your own Hollywood. Come on now. You got okay. Nigerians, come on now. Nigerians just ask, they say, come on back. They tell Nigerians, come on back. You go, doctors, you got all these certificates. Come on back to Nigeria, help us build the country. I know you all, well, you wasn't there when they elected, well, I guess you was, I don't know. You wasn't there when he elected this, the, the, the general that, that that's in the hospital now, but he, most of the time, but he was the general before. And he, da, 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 da. So I'm just asking, it's a simple question. We taking care of business? Why are you trying to hamper in the business that we take care of? Are we over there stopping you from doing your business for your struggles? Then why are you here messing with our struggles? Stay away from the fray. Hide in the hiney hole you usually hide in until we do what we do and then come out and try to be the leaders. Hey, oh, you know, I'm a black dude, blah, 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 blah. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm getting at? So leave us alone. If you can't help, don't hurt. A little message from me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the ADOS, American Descendants of Chattel Slavery.